All right, everyone. Today is week nine, day four, doing a cross training session again. This time, I remembered my windscreen. I forgot it in yesterday's video. Luckily, the wind wasn't too bad, for, but for the moments that it was, you can actually hear a massive difference. I tried to do some post-production equalization on the audio, and I think it helped a little bit, but I don't think it was enough to really make too much of a difference. But I tried it anyway in the hopes that things would actually even out. So, today I am doing a 20 minute cross training session here on my bike. I'm not doing a Reddit live stream. I kind of just want to focus on the ride. It is a beautiful, beautiful early afternoon, not early, late afternoon, early evening here in South Florida. This is really the perfect weather. It's cold, at least, you know, in South Florida terms. The color looks awesome and I have a lot to look forward to. It was a great work week. One of the big products I wanted to finish, I did actually finish. So it's a good way to end the week. Top of that, I'm excited for the week to come as I will be helping out my students in web development with JavaScript, which I think will really take them to the next level. Also tonight is Friday. We're gonna have some fun, my girlfriend and I. We haven't played beer pong in a while. So I am looking forward to just playing some beer pong. The nice thing about beer pong, so for the past couple of weeks, well, not really weeks, but we recently bought tequila and we were sort of on a margarita craze. Margaritas are good. And I don't know if it's just me, but they, they really affect me the next day in terms of hangover and just general well-being. You know, they're heavy, right? You're putting, you're putting a lot of tequila in there. We have Reposado, which I think is the mid-tier. It's like silver slash white. Reposado and then Añejo. So I think it's probably stronger than silver or white. Percentage-wise, you know, it's the same, but maybe because of the quality, it's actually a little bit stronger. But yeah, it sort of really affects me. I mean, even after just two margaritas, it might be because the sugar, not the sugar, but the salt, and all these extra things. Whereas with beer, I feel like I can last a little bit longer and not feel so bad. So I'm looking forward to that tonight. Probably gonna get a little game of beer pong going. Maybe get some chips. I'm thinking about cooking chicken parmesan. Now, my girlfriend does not like chicken, but I'm hoping that a good chicken parmesan might change her mind because it has pasta, which she does like, and she also likes breading. So it's not really, you know, there's all these other parts that sort of hide the flavor of the chicken. Not so much the texture, but I'm hoping that sort of balances out and we're able to get a nice chicken parm meal. I haven't had chicken parm in a very, very long time, but I see it all the time on ads like, you know, ads for tasty or all recipes. I think that's what it's called. And I thought, well, I might as well give it my own shot. It's a simple, cheap meal. So we'll be going to Publix afterwards to get the necessary ingredients to be able to make that. I'm going to be following a recipe from Tasty. I really do love Tasty. The recipes are so easy to follow, definitely geared toward a younger crowd. And why do I say that? I say that because the videos are shorter in length, very easy to follow. And I think that's what a lot of my generation looks for. Just small bite-sized recipes with an accompanying video that makes it very easy for you to make your own thing. And almost all the time, it comes out great. Those are some of the things I'm looking forward to this weekend. Also tomorrow, we'll all be eating with my family. And when I say we, I mean my girlfriend and I, my parents, as well as my brother and his girlfriend. So it's nice to have all six of us together. It's not a common occurrence. So, it makes it all the better better when we're actually together. Something else really to look forward to there. So like I said, this week has been really good. I hope the same has been true for anyone that's watching. You know, some weeks, this week did feel slower than last. Last week was a short week, however, so that's probably why it feels that way. But you know, we've got Valentine's Day coming up. 
not really sure what I'm gonna do and I don't feel have no shame in saying that and my girlfriend listening because we're honest with each other and that's truly how I feel you know I think we have a conversation about well you know we just bought a obedience training class for Sawyer our golden retriever and I thought you know since we since we invested the money in that it might be maybe that's just Valentine's Day this year you know it's sort of a gift to ourselves to make our lives a little bit less hectic because if he gets proper obedience training then our lives will become easier now the trainer Carrie Ann from Petco has been really nice she's been very communicative she's called me about three times she even switched the time that I was going to go that way I can be with another dog so Sawyer will actually be training with just one more dog and I think the reason she did that was because we expressed an interest in training him you know to sort of curb his excitement when he sees other people and dogs learn to just sort of play better with them he goes to a dog park honestly he is really good with dogs but I think he could just be a little more relaxed I think that's why she switched them and I'm definitely looking forward to see how it all goes with him and this other dog that starts on the 7th of February which I believe is next Sunday not in two days but the next Sunday and it's at one I'm not sure how long it lasts but it's a good time it's on the weekend so we'll both be able to go and of course we'll need to make sure we stay extra consistent with whatever instruction she gives us all right so let's get to another fun conversation so stocks 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 okay so this morning oh man i feel like I feel like I've definitely been leaning more towards this whole day trading sort of thing. I saw this morning, mind you, I've only held on to CCIV for about a week. I saw that it wasn't really moving that much. And so I decided, hey, you know what? Let me sell it and let me buy into another stock called Koss. And that's exactly what I did. I bought less shares of Koss with the earnings that I made from CCIV only because Koss cost more at the time that I invested in it and the cool thing was that I had a pretty good increase bought it at 60 a couple hours later it was at 95 I'm not sure of what the number is now but I feel that there's actually more room for growth in that stock so I'm definitely just looking forward to seeing you know long term how that goes I think I'm gonna stop with the day trading stuff kind of just want to hold for a while now been a while since I've done that you know I have a lot of other stocks in my portfolio right now that have been sitting there for a long time and I kind of want to start doing that now GameStop didn't really move a lot today you know I don't know what the day's range was but I don't think it was over 50 on either side so you know seems like things are stabilizing but Wall Street bets will have you thinking otherwise and it's really 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 fun to watch it I was talking to a colleague of mine his name is Michael Rodriguez and you know i was just telling him that had it not been for this hype i may have not even wanted to get interested in the first place the hype definitely helps newcomers go into it and it just becomes more of a hobby you know it just becomes really fun because you see all this action on reddit you have people like elon musk tweeting about it so it gets really crazy so let's do this i'm actually i'm actually writing without without holding on to the handrail, not the handrail. I'm riding my bike without holding on to the bars. So because of this, let's go ahead and check Yahoo Finance. Let's see where we ended off for the day. Looks like we ended up at 64 for costs. GameStop was 325. So yeah, not a lot of movement. I think we can, we can see the range that we had here. A day's range looks like, what, 325? Maybe a high of 4.13. I'm not really sure, but anyway, After Hours has it at 3.10. You know, we'll, we'll keep looking at it. I have a very, very, very small position in GameStop at this point after my selling last week. But we're going to keep going. It's been a lot of fun. Blackberries stand still. You know, I have a strong position in Blackberry, but their stock doesn't seem to be moving as much based on whatever Reddit and TikTok, believe it or not, were saying. Again, these are all hype slash meme stocks, right? It's fun and, you know, I everyone has their own risk tolerance. This was what I felt was comfortable for me and I thought, why not? So I just went for it and followed the memes and this is where we are today. 
So that's just sort of a quick rundown of the investing game. It's been a ton of fun. Honestly, I'm, I'm really happy that I got into it. And I'm looking forward to learning more about it in the coming weeks. Apart from that, let's do a quick summary here so far. We've been riding the bike for about 10 minutes. We're halfway done with today's session. So hopefully some of you are following me out there. We had a couple of new subscribers over the past couple of days on the channel. Really, really happy to see that level of engagement. I love seeing new people joining in. Hopefully they can follow me with these virtual workouts and really just get, you know, they can see the benefit for themselves. So I'm really, really liking the growth that we're seeing. I've been open, not open, but I've been, you know, posting videos for nine weeks. So let's say two months, 25 subscribers in two months. I don't think that's crazy. I've seen statistically, it takes about a thousand videos to get like a hundred subscribers. So no one knows me right now. I'm still very new. I've had a couple of returning followers on Reddit. So, you know, it is what it is. Should be fun. If I feel like it's about to rain. So I really hope I don't have to cut this workout out. Now, if I do, if I have to cut it short, I think I will still upload it because I just want it to be raw. I want this to be live. This is it, we're working out. If it rains, it rains. And I'm not really, it's cold also. So I'm not trying to get sick or anything, you know, because of the rain and the weather. So if you look over here, you can see it is getting a little bit cloudy. It's still beautiful though, but let's see if the weather plays nicely with us here. So my girlfriend, is starting her job on monday as a software developer i cannot wait you know the time has finally come all that work she's put in all the time all the effort all the nights she will start on monday the company has been amazing to her you can tell they really really care about her being there she has most of her equipment ready to go so it's only a matter of time you know i say we enjoy the weekend She's been still doing a little bit of studying, but at the same time I say, hey, you know, enjoy, enjoy the time you have now because once you start working, things will change for us next week. Probably waking up earlier, both of us, having a little bit of a different schedule. It's gonna be harder to, I think, interact maybe, but that's really up to us, right? That's up to us to decide how we want to play these next weeks, months, years out. So, yeah, I'm actually, my breath is catching up to me a little bit here. It's a lot of wind, a lot of resistance. But we're gonna continue on starting on Monday. I can't believe, actually look at that, how, how well it lines up that on Monday, I'll be starting to do my jogging at the same time that she starts working. So it's gonna be a big day for both of us and a big day for all of you that have been following me since the beginning. We're finally getting to the next big jump in intensity here really seeing our work paying dividends. You know, that's the point of all this. So I'm very, very excited. You know, I was running with my dog a little bit earlier, actually, when we were going on for his walk, and I felt good. I mean, I really thought to myself, like, I'm gonna be able to do this next week. You know, it's that, it's that confidence, it's that determination that will get you there. So as long as you keep that up, you'll be good. I'm gonna check the time again here. It's 13 minutes. We were about to hit 14, so we got six minutes left. I'm gonna keep riding the bike. Hopefully the weather plays nicely. We can get as close as we can to those 20 minutes. Really wanna make it worthwhile here. Don't want any of us to have to go shorter than we intend. So, it is cold. <laughs> it's actually, the temperature has dropped a little bit especially with that little bit of rain, you know, it's uh, bitter. That's the best way I can explain it. I think, I think I may actually end here. The, the rain is picking up and it doesn't feel that great. It is cool to have like the rain going with the GoPro. It's like a new experience. And how funny, only a couple days ago was I telling my girlfriend, you know, Paola, that I miss. <laughs> I miss this sort of Florida when it's raining all the time. Let's go up this little ramp here. Nice, that's fun. 
rest. So, you know, I am looking forward to the summer. I want to go back to the pool, the beach. But you know, we've we've all talked about that already before. Still, some people at the park. You know, a lot of people, and I'm sure this is the same anywhere. Don't really care about the rain on, on, until it gets like really, really bad. That's like what I've seen. We used to, super random, just another off topic thing. On Friday nights, we actually had downloaded the Peacock app on my Xbox and we would watch like the Ninja, uh, what is it, Ninja Warrior? And also the Rock had one as well, but I forgot what it's called. But that, that's really fun to just have in the background while you're, I don't know, playing beer pong or have some friends over. We used to do that. We used to watch like UFC fights. I don't know if they have any going on this weekend. Maybe they do. Be funny if they had like a really, really major one and I'm just completely oblivious to the fact that it's going on. Let's see, actually the rain kind of looks like it's settled. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep going here. I am not planning on stopping. That'd be really awesome if we can get to that 20 minutes. I'm glad I didn't actually cut off or, you know, stop talking. Got a car coming here. Gotta be careful with traffic. Of course, that goes without saying. It is Friday. Yeah, my girlfriend was a little concerned that I was doing these Reddit live streams only because I you know, because I don't have the proper mount for the phone. I had to use one hand. Oh, we're gonna have to go down a, a bump here. All right, there you go. Man, my bike's never really been through any drop like that, but I think it was all right. Yeah, you know, because I'm looking at the phone with one hand and my wheels, my, my hands on the handle with the other. So yeah, I don't have a lot of balance, but <laughs> She might feel differently when she sees the video and sees that I was doing the majority of my writing, well not the majority, but a small percentage without holding on to anything while looking at the finance app. That's really funny. Something else also that's been pretty good this week is, you know, at the start of every week, I always come up with like a financial plan and I tell myself I'm gonna try and eat just the things that I buy and not eat out. And this week we did really good. We finished all the groceries that we bought, which is nice. A lot of times we'll buy more than what we need or we'll buy exactly what we need, but then we just get bored and eat out and all that food ends up getting expired, which, yeah, it's not good. It's a money trap. Money is essentially just wasting away for no reason. So you gotta stick with it. It's not easy, but it's so, like, the feeling is so much better at the end of the week when you do go out and you know that you made the groceries you had last so your money you know you made your money you use your money as effectively as you could and si similarly tonight the chicken parm that we'll make is gonna be not very expensive it'll be a little bit cheaper and it'll still fill us up and still be really good so yeah looking forward to that strength training has been going great I've been going five times a week with this three-way split that I do it really helps me keep my time in the gym short so I'm consistent. Now I'm in the gym like half an hour. You know, it's like a half an hour session. I really focus. I did back and chest today. And I started incorporating deadlifts again, which I was surprised. Mind you, I'm doing lightweight. I'm doing 95 pounds. I mean, people, I know people that can deadlift well above 400 pounds. So yeah, I have a long way to go. But I'm just happy that I can do it. I know that I'm making progress. That's really all that matters for me. So I'm just gonna keep on going. They, they felt really good. A big indication for me, if I'm doing something good is does my lower back hurt? And it did not. If anything, it actually felt more lubricated, more warmed up, more strong. So it's really nice to revisit old workouts that you did or old routines or moves that you did and realize that you can do heavier weight with better form and everything's just sort of working out. So a very good feeling, really happy to now jump into week three. Just a lot of things going on. It's a great, great thing. Tomorrow, let's talk about tomorrow. Tomorrow, I believe we're just gonna do a regular 30 minute walk. Gonna see if we can do it in a different location. One that we haven't done before. It'll be light, probably do a Reddit live stream. My girlfriend probably will be there. It's gonna be fun. 
and that will be it. That will be the end of week nine. And we're gonna jump right in on Monday to week 10 where the fun really, really starts. I cannot believe I've made it this far. I really can't. I know I've said it many times, but it's incredible. Oh, look at that. We're actually at 20 minutes. It's a perfect time to end. I just wanna say thank you to everyone that watched the stream today. Looking forward to walking with you all tomorrow. Please join the live stream if you can. Let your friends know about this. If they're interested in starting their own workout journey, they wanna do a 10K with me, let them know about tasks with me and let them know that in the future we'll be doing a lot more tasks that they can also follow along with me doing. So as I always say, stay fit, stay healthy, and I'll see you all tomorrow for a 30 minute walk. Take it easy.